Speaking of crimes on Tinder, the Toronto Sun reports a woman recently found out that it violates Tinder law to appear as a dot, 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 clown. <laughs> Jess Harkin got kicked off the app for posing in clown makeup. The thing is, she's a professional clown. And her real name, or no, her clown name is Kazoo. <laughs> and she just wanted to find love and maybe another clown out there to match up with. Aww. And Tinder claimed that she was violating their terms of use. I cannot believe that you can be a Tindler swindler, but not a clown. Yeah. <laughs> she appealed and got her profile back. So she showed herself in her outfit for work. If she was a chef, and showed her in a chef hat, right? This is, what, this is who she is. She's a clown. And honestly, aren't there people who do up their Instagram so much with so much makeup that it's like a clown, it's just that their face is not a clown face. That's it's some a, good it's shade. A human face. That's some good shade, Deborah Norville. Is that, okay? that is, yes, because some of the people be wearing too much makeup. I'm just like, where is the line anymore? <laughs> you can't be a clown on Tinder. Mm -hmm. Would you date a clown? I think I have. Yeah. <laughs> I, think I, think I, I think I have. All right. <laughs> Next up, I love this story. Anybody here ever have trouble getting online, like your internet's out or something? We've all been there. Well, a French dad is in some hot water now for trying to keep his kids off the internet. The New York Post reports he set up a scrambler to block Wi-Fi in his house from midnight to 3 a.m. to keep his kids from scrolling the night away, which sounds sort of smart, right? But the problem is it worked, but a little too well because it blocked the Internet for the entire town. Yes! Not only that, several surrounding towns as well. And now he reportedly faced fines and even six months in prison if he's found guilty, I mean, it started out kind of smart. You know, my kid's staying up late scrolling, so let me turn the internet off, except, you know, oops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love him. I, if, if I could stop my kids from doom scrolling from midnight till 3 a.m., I would totally do so. He, well, okay. he can, yeah. Can I just say something? Please. What? It is against the law. Oh, it is right. against okay. the law in France. It is against the law in America. Mm -hmm. It is against the law to use a jamming device to stop the, the reception of cellular service. Here's how you stop the kids from doom scrolling. This is the phone. You take it. You take oh, it away from the that's children. easier. It's so much easier and guaranteed it will not land you in jail. Thank you. Clearly. All right, Deborah, what's next? Well, speaking of jail, this is a bear that needs to be in jail. CNN is reporting there's a big, giant bear that is breaking into houses in Lake Tahoe, California. He is apparently very hungry, and he has <laughs> he's obviously eaten a lot. His nickname <laughs> is Hank the Tank. Estimated to run at around, oh, 500 pounds. He's been accused of breaking into at least 28 homes. But now there's new evidence that says that Hank actually might not be a solo operator. There's DNA evidence, you can speculate what that might be, that shows oh. <laughs> that there may be a whole bunch of bears responsible for the break-ins and local residents say he just kind of sits there and eats. He doesn't attack, he doesn't growl, he doesn't make ugly faces, he just eats. Hank the Tank on the loose. Oh, wow. I what do we do? I love Hank. I think he's just, you know, looking for Goldilocks it's just for <laughs> payback. You know what I mean? House by house by house, trying to find her. What if this is like a crazy new uh, sadistic diet for keeping you, the, key, the guy took all the way, internet away so his kids wouldn't be up. From midnight to 3 a.m., I can go to the refrigerator and do some real damage. And if I thought there was a 500 pound bear <laughs> in the kitchen, I might think twice. Yeah. So maybe we should just all imagine that Hank the Tank is hanging out in our kitchen right when we want to go and self-sabotage. Yes, your thighs will appreciate Best it. Best yes. diet ever. <laughs> New diet alert. There's a bear in your kitchen.